turbo out. Nope. Wrong button. Ooh. Does that mean I can hit him freely now, but his shield's gone? that mean? Oh, that works though. Do I have to hit him like at a certain point in his animation? Or a certain spot? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, jumped way too early there. Well, apparently we beat him. I don't know what any of that was for, but apparently we won and we got the face one. Perfect. Okay. The face key. Good. And we know where that is. That's actually just north of us. Oh, is this we're going to learn about the windfish? To the finder, the Isle of Koholit is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer and Koholit will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What an illusion. Yeah, so the thing about this is the entire game, uh, Link is, a, is asleep. This is all a dream. Which is why it's called Link's Awakening. Yep. And that's why... Uh, waking the dream fish will wake himself, I believe, is like what the thing is. It's actually on the back of the box of the original, like, uh, Link's Awakening, <laughs> like for the Game Boy. Uh, apparently, if you turn it over, you, like, that's the, the summary of the plot is that you're dreaming. So, Hoot, I see you read the relief. Well, it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if the chest holds treasure till you open it, so you cannot tell if it's a dream until you awaken. Schrodinger's cat. Who here knows why Schrodinger's cat is important? Or the, was it the Heidingberg uncertainty principle? Hindenburg? Heidingberg? Hindenburg. No, Hindenburg was the uh, balloon that crashed. Uncertain principle. What's that guy's name? He Heisenberg. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Anybody know those? Schrodinger's cat or Heisenberg's unc uncertainty principle? They're both little uh, physics things that are fun. This is you cannot know if chest holds treasure. The only one who knows for sure is the wind fish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. So Schrodinger's cat is if you put a cat in a box and you fill the cat or fill the box with poison stay with me the cat inside the box is both dead and alive until you open the box to see it so what this is saying is that you can't know until you look and the act of observing will affect the outcome, right? Now, that's a bit like f philosophical, right? But here is actual a actual use case for this thing. It's called uh, Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Basically, what it means is you cannot know both the position and speed of an electron. The act of observing an electron will then affect the electron. So if you're looking at it, you affect it. Um, because electrons are super small, and basically the act of observation affects the object. So you can only know how fast it's going or its exact position. You can never know both of an electron. Fun fact. Into a mom puddle? Oh no, Simmy. I hope everything's okay. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, uh, why is this month gonna be busy for you, DJ? I know your birthday's this weekend. What else is going on? What else is going on this weekend for you, bro? I mean, I, I feel like this will probably be a busy weekend for me as well, but on or busy month. But honestly, basically every month is busy for me nowadays. So, which isn't bad. I'm not complaining. It's just we're doing stuff most weekends. Cool. All right. Dungeon number six. Let's go. Now, we did a lot of extra progress, though, in exploring the map and doing a whole bunch of, like, di different stuff. So I'm not concerned about taking so much time, too. Ooh, whiz ropes? Ooh, how do I kill these whiz ropes? Because that wasn't working. Ooh, my bow worked on him. Can I reflect the magic? Let's find out. Okay, well, that's not working. Nope, I can just block it. Okay, looks like my bow is going to become very, very useful here. Ah, uh, okay, Sammy. That sucks. I'm sorry you're having to deal with all of that. Like, that... One of the things I'm not really looking forward to <laughs> is all of the hecticness that comes with being a parent, right? But I guess it just comes with the territory, I guess. So hopefully it all turns out okay for you. Oh, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Oh, look, we get a new upgrade. That's fine for my strength, I guess. There's a cookout next Tuesday. Nice. Hopefully that's fun for you. A shy guy? Yeah, it's a shy guy. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't change the, uh... <laughs> crystal there, or else half this room would have been inaccessible. That would have been unfortunate. Also, there's a room over here we can bomb. Let's do that real quick. Dark room. Let's throw some powder on here. Entirely sure what they want me to do here, to be honest. I wonder if this will be a puzzle later when we get back later and have whatever the item for this dungeon is. Oh no, there's no puzzle. It was just kill all the enemies in here. Got it. Very nice. I don't know what those giant green balls are, but I don't like them. Oh no, I need to have this down so I can get through here. Huh, okay. That's unfortunate, like, let's go all the way back then. I think uh, as a community, we're doing something later this month for the kids for trick-or-treating. we're gonna do have y'all ever heard of the trunk or treat where a whole bunch of like families will get together and like open up like the back of their cars and have candy in the back of their cars like for the kids and like have all the kids dress up and do the normal like Halloween trick-or-treating 
but like with like a safe area, right? And like have it in like a, a place where like the kids feel safe and all that jazz. Um, and like there's no like strangers involved, like that kind of stuff. Well, we're gonna do a spin on that as a community, but we're gonna go down to our like little pool area and set up some tables and a whole bunch of families are just gonna line up, like be at different tables around the parking lot and have the kids go through and get all the candy and stuff. So I think we're doing that later this month. Anyway, Simmy's heard of it. Okay, cool. Makes sense since Simmy's a mom. <laughs> Oh, going with a group of friends. That's good, too. Being in groups is very important. <sighs> you got a more powerful bracelet. You feel like you could lift an elephant. Mm -hmm. Fun. Okay. Although my sword is still not powerful enough to break a pot. I can literally lift an elephant. Still can't break a pot with my sword. I feel like there's a flaw in this design, but that's fine. Uh, let's go to the left now. I don't think we've been over here yet, have we? We haven't been over here yet. Okay. Uh, oh, we can throw a bomb over there probably, yeah? Oh, uh, I don't think that would be close enough to it. Uh, no kill to the things, though. No, that's not going to be close enough. Dang. Okay. Okay, so plant a bomb there. And hopefully we'll get more bombs. We're using a lot of bombs in this dungeon. Hopefully they give us more. Okay, there's one. Ooh, we should try the magic powder on these guys. Let's see if that does anything to them. It does stun them. So that you can shoot them with something else. But yeah, you cannot hurt them with your sword. That's lame. That's, that's kind of lame. Okay, we should probably go ahead and try to kill that last one real quick. Uh, too late. Dang it. Okay, wait for him to disappear now. Yeah, I'll wait for him to now throw it. Okay. So you should disappear and reappear. Nope. Okay. So, what, there's what, like three seconds on the bomb? So, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. There it is. Okay. I had to time that. I don't know, does anyone here, uh, adult-wise, or I guess in general, does anyone here still dress up for Halloween? I would love to, but I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed to, to be honest. And... Like, I, if I, if I want to do a costume, like, I want the costume to be good, but I'm not crafty. Oh, I was supposed to throw a pot at that. I forgot. Uh, I'm not crafty myself. So... Like, I don't... I can't make it myself. But at the same time, I would then need to, like... like spend a good amount of money to get a good costume. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Ooh, there's bombs over there. Let's get those real quick. Okay, I'm supposed to go to the left. Oh, yeah, let's go back to the left. Okay. So, Simi does it, and she does it. Even when you handed out candy? I mean, that's that, that makes sense. Um, is there anything up here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. 
Oh, your friend's a cosplayer. Yeah, see, that's the kind of, like... These are chess pieces. Why are there chess pieces in here? Oh, no, I need to get the... Oh, that's fine. Figure out these chess pieces first. Chess pieces. <laughs> the chess pieces totally bounce. And they're, um... The way they're supposed to move. That's fun. So... so so the knight chess piece can move in L, so it goes three forward and then one to the left or right. So if you watch him, that's exactly what they're doing. So you want one, two, three, and then down. I don't know why they're doing that, but it's kind of fun. I'm assuming I probably need to get them onto that. No. Yeah, that's what they want me to do. Interesting. Okay. Like, I guess I, what I want is I want cosplay level stuff. But honestly, that's not reasonable. Because that takes tons of time and skill. And it's not something I'm willing to put forth. So because of that, I just don't cosplay and I don't dress up anymore because I don't feel like it's good enough. Y you know what I mean? Like, not wanting to do something so you don't feel like you'll do it justice. Is anyone else like that here? Oh, interesting. This entire area was uh, completely optional. Nice. Okay, so let's head back over here. Also, more bombs. Perfect. I will take that. Also, we did finally see our first uh, shell sensor, and it actually appeared in the top left. So that's nice. Okay, uh, let's use the bombs. We have plenty of bombs. Wait for it to appear. Now throw it. Ah, uh, too early. Way too early. It was three seconds. Three second cycle. Come on. So, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. So, when the hat disappears, throw it, right? Yeah, when the hat disappears, throw it. I don't know why I threw it then. That was terrible. Panda, welcome back. Oh, well, that's nice of you, Panda. And how's your little sister doing? The hat disappears. There it is. You know what I should do, chat? We should just stun him and then throw the ball. That's smart. Yeah, that makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? Oh, jeez. Stocking, yes, I did. Thank you. I did, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I know it's appreciated, but I, I, I would still be embarrassed, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be confident enough to walk around with everybody else. Like, every year at work, um, they actually let people dress up. And one year I did. But again, I didn't have, I didn't feel like I had the time or energy to actually, like, make my own costume type thing. So I didn't. And I ended up just buying, like, a costume from 
uh, spirit, that Halloween store that's everywhere. Hmm. Can I take this through scenes? No, I can't. Ended up take ended up buying like a Darth Vader costume through Spirit, and it was a little bit too big for me, and it was kind of cheap looking. I don't know, it just it just wasn't great. So, like that made me like really self conscious as well. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll be dressing up this year until I can like I don't know put some good money into it. I guess. Panda. Tossing her out the window <laughs> is not allowed. I mean, I'm glad that literally murdering your sister is not allowed. Yes, yes, that is technically illegal. It is. I would recommend not doing that, but... Our bad nightmares? Mm, yeah, I could see that. I could, I could see that. Luckily, growing up, I was the youngest of my family. I was the youngest of five in my family. I was. So, I didn't have to deal with any little sisters or little brothers or anything. Uh, they all had to deal with me. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a thing. Oh, interesting. And another way through there is just to throw this at this. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so, but, you know, how many brothers and sisters or siblings do y'all have? Yeah, I don't think I've ever asked y'all that before. How many siblings do y'all have? the tile room this is fun so I love these rooms in a uh, link to the past because all you do is you stand in the entrance and you hold out your shield or your sword in that game and you're perfectly fine I always loved them because they were super easy it was just a waiting game I mean I guess you could run around and like slash it with your sword or something but there's no need to so three sisters and five brothers wow that's a big family that's pretty cool. Oh, did, did that by accident. That's fine. We'll go through the key door. Ooh, bomb. Well, thank you very much. Another bomb? Now I got a heart. Mini boss? Whenever I need to pick up the ball and throw it back at her. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. Okay. Hmm. Looks like there's a time. Yep. Aha. My ball now. That's right. Run away. No, nope, my ball. Aha! Nope, still my ball. Aha! Get it. Two sisters, one brother. You're the youngest of me. Nice. Okay, okay. The panda has a huge family. Simmy's is pretty large as well. One of four. I have three sisters and one brother. I'm the youngest of five. I'm the youngest of five. Oh. Cool. Okay. You were very unplanned. So, uh, funny story. All of my siblings, after, like, the first one was unplanned? Or maybe including the first one? Like, yeah, literally all my brothers and sisters were, were unplanned. Oh, this again. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully this gives me a key, because I don't have a key to get through here. Uh, 
You do give me a key. Perfect. Oh, don't fall. Oh, I fell off. Yeah, I have a... Uh... They're all older. Um, and it's actually quite a bit older. So, my oldest sister is 20 years older than I am. There's 20 years between me and my sister. Um, so it was kind of interesting because... For a long time growing up, my oldest sister was more of a uh, mother figure to me. And only probably in the past three to four years, I guess. Yeah, probably three to four years. Um, has my relationship with my sister really evolved from being more of a like a mother figure, like adult child, to I guess probably the last five years, uh, to more of a actual brother sister relationship, and it's been really cool getting to know her as an adult, but like as a person, um, and as like um, as my sister rather than as like she has to be super responsible, like she needs to be herself. Um, so and it's, it's been it's been really nice getting to know her like that. Oh, I did too soon. Come this way. Nope. You can only have one bomb out at a time. What? No, you just okay. Thank you. I wish you could have more bombs out at a time. That'd be really nice. Cool. That's done. So that was a mini boss in another dungeon. And we're also seeing it here. So that's kind of interesting. Also. No. I thought I was supposed to like hook shot over that other platform or something. But I don't think I need to. It's not right now. Uh, we could hook shot to the other side, but that requires a key that we don't have. So let's go down. We got a key. Perfect. Ha! Ah, that's unfortunate, Simi. You're like, okay, we're done having kids. Oh, by the way, we're gonna have one more. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay, what boss are we fighting in here? Oh, just all these guys again? That's fine. Ooh, I wonder if this piece of power will actually affect my bow shots. It does not. That's unfortunate. Uh, is this the back to the entrance? No, not to the entrance. It's just one of the earlier areas, but not the entrance. No. Hmm. I don't know how we would get through here, actually, chat. Because if we had the blue up, we can't hit the staircases. If we have the orange up, we can't get to this staircase. Oh, but I have to get out of here. Huh, I guess we're leaving. Got it. Um, I guess let's head back up north now. Uh, NJ, is that New Jersey, Simmy? Oh, I can't go this way. Yeah, nice. Um, all my family pretty much lives in...